Hello everyone, I'm Vera Wack, and today is the day that I get sorted into my Potter house. So, I have a lot of hats, I just don't have a wizard hat, strangely enough. So I've got a hard hat, I could wear that to make that the sorting hat. I have a cow hat, which can also work. I've got a cat hat here, which I think this one might actually work as the sorting hat. So I might wear this one to sort into my house. Uh, this one, this one can work too. No, it's just, it's not working. It's not working. I've got a pirate hat, but that sort of doesn't really, doesn't really feel like it would be that magical. And then I also have a Santa hat, which, you know what? This could be the sorting hat, but it sort of doesn't really feel like it. So I will have to use one of these hats to sort once I'm done the quiz. That being said, I will be doing the quiz on, um, it's Wizarding World. It used to be Pottermore, I believe, but now it seems to be uh, Wizarding World. So that's what I'll be doing. So here we have it. I've got the quiz. I'm going to sort my house. Oh, get sorted now. There we go. That's a good start. I don't know what to expect. I don't really know. Choose one to continue. Dawn or dusk? I would say dawn. How would you like to be known to history? The great, the wise, the bold, the good? That's a very good question. I think I would want to be known as the good. Not the bad, not the ugly. What kind of instrument most pleases your ear? Oh, this is definitely piano. Oh, for sure. I love piano. I absolutely love hearing piano adaptations of movie soundtracks. Oh, so amazing. A troll has gone berserk in their headmaster's study at Hogwarts. It's about to smash, crush, and tear several irreplaceable items and treasures. Which order would you rescue these objects from the troll's club if you could? A nearly perfected cure for dragon pox. Okay. Oh, okay, I get it. I get it now. I was like, what's going on? Um, Unwritten book of strange runes. Um, okay, let's see. Let's see. I, I, the cure for dragon pox. Um, I don't think I really care about the student records. I do am very curious about the handwritten book of strange runes. Yes, we're going to confirm because I feel like dragon pox. I'm not 100% sure what it is, but I feel like it's probably something we want to cure for. If you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? Cats, toads, owls. Um, owls, for sure. For sure, not cats, no. If you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose? Barn owl? Tawny Owl, Snowy Owl, Screech Owl, Brown Owl. Um, Barn Owls are terrifying. I think Barn Owls was actually the one in the fourth kind. Is that what it's called? I think so. So no thank you. Tawny Owl, they look like the normal ones. Snowy Owl could be nice. Screech Owl, it looks wise and mysterious. Brown Owl. I think I'm gonna go with this. It's either the snowy owl or the screech owl. I do like the snow, but I feel like it, it would be very good at hunting. Okay, I'm gonna go with the screech owl. What are you most looking forward to learning at Hogwarts? Oh boy. All about magical creatures and how to befriend care for them. Flying on a broomstick. Apparition and disapparition, disapparition being able to materialize and dematerialize at will. Secrets about the castle, eh. Transfiguration, one object to another. Hexes and jinxes. Every area of magic I can. Oh, well then. Every area of magic I can then. I didn't know that was an option. Obviously I'm going to get that. Which road tempts you the most? Twisting and leaf-strewn path through the woods. Wide, sunny, grassy lane. I like the sun. Narrow, dark, lantern-lit alley. That's creepy. Nope. Cobble Street lined with ancient buildings. Okay, so we're going to go with the first two. This is mosquito filled. This one tempts me the most because I love sun. Left or right? Do I go right where there's nothing left or do I go left where nothing is right? 
I think I'm going to go to the left where nothing is right. Oh my god. Okay, Sorting Hat is ready to make his decision. Not Slytherin. Not Slytherin. Not Slytherin. I don't know what other ones... I don't know what any of them do, so I probably should have read up on them. Oh well, it's too late now. Moment of truth. Ravenclaw! Welcome to Ravenclaw! Oh no. Gilderoy Lockhart, oh no! You probably know that some of Ravenclaw's most renowned, renowned members include Gilderoy Lockhart and Luna Lovegood. But did you know Ravenclaw's Grey Lady is the least talkative Hogwarts house ghost? Or that Ravenclaw's common room boasts the most stunning views of the castle grounds? Interesting. I mean, I'm fine with that. Eccentric Ravenclaw student, member of Dumbledore's army and close friend of Harry Potter. <laughs> Gilderoy Lockhart. One time defense against the dark arts teacher or professor, particularly proficient in memory charms. And of course, five time winner of which weekly's most charming smile award now locked up in, in the insane asylum. I don't know that place. Kindly Hogwarts charms professor and head of Ravenclaw house. Ah, I didn't know that was, um, head of Ravenclaw house. There we go. Ravenclaw. Good job. Good job, Sorting Hat. So I'm Ravenclaw. I've actually had a couple people say that if I don't get sorted into Ravenclaw, then then the test is wrong. So, so there we have it. A Ravenclaw. Yeah, I am not really sure what that even entails. Traits. Okay, the, okay, I've got the traits for Ravenclaw. Wit, learning, wisdom, acceptance, intelligence, creativity. That, that, that is me, it seems. Yeah. Our animal is the eagle. Our element is air. Ravenclaw is where I belong. What house do you guys belong to? I'm really curious to see what the, like, distribution sort of is. Stay tuned for next movie. So I've currently watched Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Next one is Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. I'm really excited to see what that is. Thanks for watching, everyone.